Adam here again. Now, what you've all been waiting for, part two of insulation build. So, what we've got here, we've got three bags of insulation ready to go. Got one under the house, already started. Got pretty frustrated, lost my um, staples, lost my gun, lost my gloves. I was losing everything, so uh, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how long I can last. All right, here I come. So, they're way under, <laughs> pretty hard to crawl under here, as I said before, I've been losing everything, so I've got this cool little belt, carry staples, uh, what else did I grab, maybe that was it, so I had some other things there, I'm guessing they've dropped out, because this is a pain in the ass. so what I've got with me, Stapler, galvanized sca staples, so they won't rust under here. We're going into hardwood, so I don't know how this is going to go. It might not go down too well. It's also pretty dark in here, so got a torch. But because I'm doing it by myself under here, because everyone else is hurting themselves, I don't know if this torch is going to work. I'll I'll try and set it somewhere to give me a bit of light, but it actually looks like I'm calling in Batman. Maybe that's what I need, a bit of help from Batman today. So, let's see how this goes. Sorry, uh, let me grab you. Ugh. Come and have a look. I put one in, and when I say put in, I mean I've squished it up there, carried this big bugger, uh, dragged it up underneath. That was, again, another not so simple task. Gosh, these glasses look good. All right, you guys can set yourself up over here and watch me work. I don't know if you can hear that up in the background there. Some painting going on. Uh, the insulation that we did the other day, floors are all in. Jip Rocker came and did his stuff. We um, got a plasterer in, just because we want to make sure that the finish looks good. And weren't too confident that if we did it ourselves that it would. So, he finished up, he finished up yesterday afternoon. And now we're starting to do a little bit of painting up there, just because we've got the, the kitchen guy coming in and installing in the next couple of days. So we wanting to make sure that that's all ready to go for him, easier to paint it all before the kitchen gets installed, otherwise we're going to be doing all the cutting in and stuff. That wouldn't have been too much fun. So I'm playing under the house while there's a bunch of people up painting above me. Alright, so this is just on the other side. Now I'm doing my best to keep it up off the ground. You don't want to get it dirt all over it. Or on me either. So gonna measure it to where we need to, to rip. I'm gonna say it's about right there. And then we just rip through it. Really easy stuff to tear through. Uh, there we go. Let's see how I went. Hopefully I'm not too short. Better off being too, too long than too short as they say. At least then we can take some more off. Uh, and that looks, I'm gonna say, pretty good. There we go. All right, what we've done here, I've just angled it up, pointing it at the bit that I've just done. And find my staple. And God, let me tell you, this tool belt shit, it's stabbing into me in all sorts of places. easy uh, except for the fact that it's too wide again not sure what we really do about that oh, there we go just one big spot a bit too wide Oh, 
don't know if we need to maybe um, come along with, with some rope. Might come down along that to hold this in because that just doesn't want to stay. This is, I guess, the problem that we've got dealing with an old house is that, alright, maybe they're using different measurements than what we do now. Maybe they're five mils was seven and a half mils in our language, so it's all out. Probably not, because that's not a thing. I don't know why it's out, but it is, and it's a pain in the ass. Because you can see here, I can fit my fingers through there. It's meant to be a snug fit, otherwise like the insulation doesn't work. So it needs to... Um, join otherwise it's not going to do its thing it needs to join enough without me stapling my hands too there we go. let's give it a little tug that does the job that does it quite good actually all right i think we can make this work Yeah, that's one row of three of them. I think just dropped from where my head is. So that's one row. I've got 20 bags. Three things in a bag. That's 60. That's about a third. Oh, that's one of about 180. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll fast forward through this. I think I'm going to be here for the next three weeks. Well, I've got you guys. This is the underneath of the insulation work we did on the other place. Remember when we were going in over the top? So rather than me lying down on dirt, we will just quickly work over the top. Really quick and simple to install that way. Uh, all looks pretty good at the moment. Might be a couple of little bits here. Uh, I don't think we did these ones here properly just because that's where the kitchen was. So I think I'm going to have to come back and staple them. I might get in underneath now and staple them other than that pipe being in the way, which I have to move around. I guess the biggest thing that we've got to be careful of on this one when we did the other house, there was only one bit where there was electricity, so it was pretty smooth sailing for here. There is electrical wires everywhere. All right, look at that. Uh, that's aerial um, and electrics. Under there, there's electrics. When I put this first one in, I had to be very careful because I don't want to do that and put a staple through it. That's really probably the biggest thing I have to be wary of when I'm under here is the electrics. Just to make sure that I'm not going to get a bit of a buzz. Last one. What I'm going to do here is show you how I'm pulling it up through the joist here. So just unraveling a bit, making sure that the the tough sides on the bottom. Um, remember from last time there was two sides. So here we're just going to slide him through and hope that we've got enough length.
bit of tough, but it'll be worth it because winter was bloody cold out here. So I'm guessing summer is going to be the opposite. I think we call that hot. So, see in a bit. So here we are, been working our way along. Uh, it's taken a lot longer than I thought because Jordan has been helping. Oh, I can just cut this out. He doesn't know how to cut it out, we're fine. So that'll do for the day. Uh, we've probably done about a fifth of the house, I would say. All down there. It's um, pretty much just our living room where we have our lounge and TV and whatnot that we've been able to insulate today. Pretty big job. It looks like it's going to be a couple of weekends still to go. Still got a whole heap of bags. But hope you guys have enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.